Okay, so welcome to, to this course. Today we'll be diving straight into uh, creation of Jira free account. Of course, that's that's the first thing we're going to do today. So in order to do that, we'll get to get, okay, I've already typed in here, get Jira free. So you're going to get, look at this, get Jira software for free. So let's just open this. Yeah, so this is what you're going to see. And then you just, you have nothing to do. Just click next. That's all you have to do. So so perfect. Now it has opened. This is for you to create your account. So it's going to ask you, I would prefer that you use Google account. So first, if you don't have Google, account create a google account and then sign into your google account use the this is just very very straightforward because that is what we're going to be using for this um tutorial so you just click on sign up click google of course the google, your google account that you use to sign up is going to pop up here just as you're seeing my this code it takes a gmail so you just click on it and this is the process it's going to ask you this create your account yes we want to create account okay so traffic lights of course are we meeting anyone yes yeah yeah okay verify wow bicycle yes okay fine Good. That's how simple it is. So it's saying your work mail, then your site. Now you're going to choose a site. So we're going to say, um, let's just say code ethic. API test. Perfect. So say code ethics API test. You can, of course, name yours whatever you want to test, whatever you want to name it. And then you agree. So it's asking this question. You can decide to skip IT support. So just, I'm not actually taking my time to go through, but then you can take it. Now it's setting up your, your profile. So perfect. Now it's asking you to choose one of these. So usually you choose Chrome, of course. So I'm going to choose Chrome and click next. Fine. So this is, I don't want to take it though. So this is our board this side looks like this how the Jira board looks like and of course when you start creating issues you're going to see um, be able to create your board how the board move your board from to do to in progress to test to done and all that we're going to go through that process so but the first thing we're going to do now now that we've created our Jira board the first thing before we end this video is to create our token because for you to actually automate um test Jira open source APIs you need to get your token so just come to this place where you have your profile, hit it and click on manage accounts. By clicking on manage accounts, you are going to go to security. Yeah. Then on this security, you're going to see API token. We need this API token to actually test our APIs. So you create, create a manage API token, click on that. And then because this is a new account, you've not gotten a new um, API token before so it's going to ask you to create one you can create as much as you can but for this for the purpose of this class we're going to or this course we're going to create one 
So we're going to name it, um, say, API testing. Just name it API testing and create. So it has created this API testing um, token. So this token is unique and is a secret. So you must not allow anyone to have access to this token because anyone who has access to this token is actually going to use it on your profile. Of course, anything that is done on this token is on your account, right? So that's why it's, you can see, I don't want to show it. So you just copy it. So for yours, copy it and then paste it, save it somewhere. I'm going to paste mine now on a notepad and save it somewhere we're going to use it. So this is the process. Now you can close, once you close, you're going to see it here. API testing. So these are token. Now you can revoke this token. Once you revoke this token, it's going to be useless. So everything you are done here, you in fact you won't even be able to have the token again. The the key that we've just copied is not going to work again, right? So that is it. So so far, that is the process of creating Frigera account and then having your token. I believe that you must have gotten your token. If you've gotten followed me all through to this stage, bravo, you've done well. So in our next um class, in our next course, we're going to start the process of going through the documentation the open source api documentation and see how much we can carry out tests of course we're going to test them manually first then after testing them manually we've gotten what we want then we'll now start automating them so thank you very much and happy testing